The Department of Pharmacology and Therapeutics at McGill University is proud to present Mini Pharma, a new lecture series on drugs and health. Mini Pharma joins the successful McGill Mini's public lecture series for members of the Montreal community. Here, the focus is on pharmacology, the study of drugs and their actions on the human body. In Mini Pharma, which runs once weekly from April 12th through May 24th, participants will learn from and interact with prominent McGill professors. Professor Tim Geary starts the series off with his lecture, Drug Development, Where We Are and How We Got Here, in which he will take us on a journey through the history of drug development, from the first recorded uses of plants to treat human illness to the world of today, where new drugs can take decades and billions of dollars before reaching the market. Next, Professor Vasilios Papadopoulos, director of the Research Institute of the McGill University Health Center, continues the journey into the future. He will discuss current perceptions of what healthcare might look like in the not so distant future, where genetic information can be used to treat people before they get sick or can be harnessed to more precisely tailored drug treatments to the individual, putting an end to the current one size fits all approach. The following week, Jeff Mogul, the EP Taylor Professor of Pain Studies at McGill, takes a more detailed look at personalized medicine, examining why people respond differently to widely prescribed medications to treat chronic pain. He also asks the controversial question whether there will ever be different painkillers for women and men. On May 3rd, Professor Paul Clark addresses the socially and medically challenging problem of cigarette smoking. Scientists and lay people alike operate under the assumption that nicotine addiction is the root of the problem. Dr. Clark challenges this construct, examining the relevant evidence and asking if we should also be looking at others in the long list of 4,000 chemicals in tobacco smoke. Professor Dusika Mazinger then takes us to the front lines of one of the most rapidly developing areas of biomedical research, nanomedicine the use of nanotechnology to diagnose, treat, and prevent human disease. You will marvel at all that can and will be done at the scale of one billionth of a meter. Though we most often think about pharmaceuticals for their medicinal value, they can also produce harm, often in ways we do not readily appreciate. Indeed, many drugs and other chemicals find their way into the environment, putting people, water, plants, and animals at risk for exposure. Bernard Robert, James McGill Professor of Pharmacology and Therapeutics, discusses the role of endocrine disrupting chemicals in the environment and their potential role in human infertility. His lecture will surely leave us wondering whether this is the proverbial tip of the iceberg. The series concludes with what promises to be a timely and perhaps contentious panel discussion on the role of the pharmaceutical industry, Big Pharma, in modern society. Doctors Peter McLeod, Tim Geary, and Jeffrey Kuhl, with diverse backgrounds and perspectives in clinical medicine, academia, big pharma, and biotechnology will consider what we as a society can reasonably expect from drug manufacturers and drug prescribers. Given that these are for-profit entities, is it reasonable for us to expect or demand business practices that place people above profits? Mini Pharma starts soon, and we invite you to join us on this seven-week journey through the history, hopes, and hazards of drugs and the treatment of human disease.